All right, guys, I'm just getting packed up to leave the house because I'm excited. I'm filming with my good friend Paul today. Paul Sturgis is the tallest man in Europe. And he's the, I would say, he's the tallest golfer in the world. We first met up about three years ago when we played in the British Masters Pro on with Tyrrell Hatton. And then a couple of years ago, I invited him up to Manchester to do some filming. And you might have seen the video where we swapped golf clubs. And believe me when I say Paul's golf clubs are absolutely massive. And we swapped and I tried to play with these clubs. That was a lot of fun. And then last year, I actually played on my YouTube golf day. Um, out of everybody there, he was easily the person people wanted the picture with most. Last time I saw him, he was seven foot seven and a half inches. He might have grown since, we'll have to find out. And I've heard he's playing some decent golf. He's got his handicap down. And I thought it'd be a good time to challenge him to a longest drive competition. <laughs> I don't fancy my chances, but it should be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see Paul again. Here he is. How yeah. are you, pal? All right, mate. You How good? Are you good, Joe. I'm excited about this. I'm going to smash some You balls. versus me in a longest drive just doesn't make sense to say. <laughs> I've got to show you this. These are Paul's golf shoes, size 19. Look at them. I'm a size 11 UK and 19's custom made just for Paul. Right, so we've played golf a few times now. And it's yep. been good every time we've played, but I've, I've always thought, what would the longest drive be like against you? Because obviously, you've got to hit it further. One, because you've got long levers. Yep. I believe now you're off five handicap. Playing a five year, so I'm playing quite good at the minute. You've but... really improved because I think you're off about seven last time I saw you. Yeah. Um, I, so I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see how far you can hit your driver, definitely. But you've told me that you're not hitting your driver great, have you? Not amazing, no. Lock, lockdown's been a killer for me, but. <laughs> so I want to see if, how far, like, like, before we get to driver though, I want to see maybe eight iron distances, four iron distances, and then driver. I mean, we'll hit a few warm up shots anyway and get yeah. going. Because in theory, I'm just thinking, like, your levers are absolutely massive. Because if I, if I was to even, I'm six foot, and if I was to reach, how far, how much higher can you reach of that? <laughs> yeah, so. So quite a bit more. <laughs> right, let's hit a few warm-up shots um, and then we'll get GT quad out and see how far you can actually hit it. Right, just while Paul's warming up, I want to show you this. Obviously, Paul's clubs are custom made for him. This is his putter versus my putter. Look at the difference there between the two. I'm going to have a putt with Paul's. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a broom handle putter. It's longer than my driver comfortably longer than my driver. Let me see if I can hold one. <laughs> That's unbelievable, I could never use that, but it's perfect for Paul. All right, so warm up done and we're both feeling loose. So first challenge. We have a longest drive, but we're going to start off with an eight iron and then move into a four iron, and then we're going to go driver. You ready for this? Feeling good. We're going to use range balls for the eight iron and the four iron, and then we're going to use real Pro V1s for the driver. I've got GC quad. I'm intrigued. In warm up, Paul looked like he was hitting it an absolute mile. <laughs> I was doing everything I can to try and catch up. So let's go eight iron first. We're gonna hit five shots each and play it like a match play format. Whoever hits it longest goes one up until we have a winner. Okay, a tie in first. Oh, it's a decent start. 150 yards of carry. Look at him, look at Paul, he's like, I can get past that with a... It's like a pitching wedge. <laughs> All right, 150, here we go. Should be a little tickle. That looked good. Not my best, but it's carried 180. 180 yards. A bit out of the toe, but... <laughs> okay, uh, one up to Paul. <laughs> Club head speed difference is there. I was 95 miles per hour. Paul's over 100 miles per hour with an eight iron. Right, round two, Paul's one up. Try to play a big hooky one. 166, I'm warming oh, up now. Do you think you can hit a 200 yard eight iron? Mm, if I give it absolute beans. That's what we want to see. 
that look good. 193. 193 yards. Get better. With an eight iron. <laughs> 193 yards with an eight iron is outrageous. That is so good. Two up. 167. I'm getting longer. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice flight. Oh, that was only 172. A little weak, that one. Oh. At the time. Okay, so that was short and sweet. <laughs> Three up for Paul with the eight iron. Um, his longest was 190 plus yards with an eight iron. Okay, let's move on to four iron next. I'm not sure what else I can do to hit it longer, but I'm intrigued. What's a four iron for you normally? Uh, I'm never really, probably like close to like 220, 230, 240, 250. <laughs> we'll find out very soon. <laughs> Challenge two, four iron. Um, I'm normally about 200-ish yards, not 250 yards, so I'm going to have to... You might beat my eight iron then. <laughs> he's saying he can, uh, he's going to hit an eight iron past my four <laughs> iron. Oh, that's a little low chaser. 214 yards, which normally I'd be over the moon with. I feel like I'm going to lose by about 40 here. <laughs> no pressure, it's just a 214 to beat. Oh, oh slapped it. Oh. 184, slapped it. <sighs> you might be big, Paul, but you've still got to find the middle of the club face, pal. <laughs> Rick unexpectedly goes one up in the four iron challenge. Oh, Trying nice. to hit big raking draws. 219 oh. yards. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> I'm under pressure now, you're striking it. <laughs> I feel like even if you did a, a half swing, like little chippy one, just to find the middle of the club face, you'd still beat me <laughs> on 219. But that's not what people have come here to see. People want to see you absolutely annihilate four iron. Oh, it's a bit of a low chaser up the left. 233, getting better. Wow. Okay. Ooh. It's a bit high, 216 yards. I mean, consistent, I must admit, I'll give myself that. 216 yards to beat Paul. Not sure. 216. Is it exactly? 216. Wow, whole, that, was, that round was halved at 216 exactly carry each. Because we're doing match play, so far it's all square for the three shots we've hit. So two more, two more shots to go. Oh, I didn't get the draw. It's a pushy one. 214 yards. I mean, I'd be over the moon with my dispersion on these, but that's not what we're going for. We're going for pure distance. Oh, it's a low one up the left. 194. Uh-oh. It's not a find in the middle of the face. Uh-oh. <laughs> you might have all that speed, but you've got to hit the middle. Rick goes one up with one to go with the four iron. This could go down as my greatest achievement. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice flight. 215 yards. I'm not getting much better than that. They're all <laughs> carry distances. Um, 102 miles per hour club head speed. I'm swinging out my boots with a four iron there. Right, I'm gonna try and find one here, come on. Oh, that looks good. 221. Only just picked oh. me. So that means the four iron round finished all square. Let's get on to driver. Now we've been debating whether you can actually swing driver in here. Yeah, so we've uh, we've established, considering Paul is seven foot seven and a half inches, right? He cannot swing driver in here with that roof. So we're gonna go outside, set it all up, and then have a longest drive. Me versus Paul, me versus Tiny. See who wins. <laughs> Okay, so we're outside, longest drive time, but before we get going, Paul keeps using this excuse that he's not in his driver very well. So I'm gonna give him the opportunity to hit some warm-up shots first with range balls before we get the Pro V1s out. And what I'm interested to know is club head speed. I normally swing about 110, 112 miles per hour. How fast can Paul swing the driver? And then we'll have a little challenge against each other. Nice. 
Okay, so Paul is warming up and he has got some serious club head speed. With his driver, he's swinging over 120 miles per hour. But as he mentioned, that's a good one. He's not been hitting it great. But, like a heavyweight boxer, if he just catches one, it is going to be a knockout blow. The challenge is simple. We're going to hit five shots each, and it's who can hit the one longest golf shot. If he honestly catches one, he'll absolutely annihilate me. Started off quite well. Eight iron, I was piping it, but I'm quite disappointed about the four iron. I'm getting some pace, but just need to find the middle of the club. So driver's not been very well since lockdown, but I definitely know if I can catch one out the middle, Rick's not gonna get anywhere near me. So fingers crossed I can get a good one away. Okay, so here we go, longest drive time. I'm gonna hit my five first. And remember, it's the longest shot that counts. And we're gonna go on total distance. So for these five shots, I'm gonna absolutely try and smash it. I need to put down a strong benchmark for Paul to try and beat. Let's go, come on. That could be long. That is long. Big as well. 335 yards. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, I've surprised myself there. <laughs> I've absolutely tried to bash them. I managed to get out 345 yards of total distance. Still not swinging as fast as you though. So I honestly think if you can catch one, there is a huge potential to beat me. I should be able to get past that. I've just got to find the middle of the club, which okay. you were doing, so. Five shots to see if Paul can get past that. Okay, here we go. I've got five Pro V1s for Paul to hit, so no excuses. He's got 345 yards to beat, which I'm totally surprised about. I didn't think I'd hit it that far. You ready, pal? I'm ready, let's do it. Let's do this. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous. So already out of the blocks, the first goal shot, Total distance, 320 yards. And he swung it faster than I did, but didn't quite strike the middle. There is pure distance gonna happen with these next few shots. But so far, I'm still leading. Oh, that is a bullet. Did you hit that one well? Yeah, no doubt. That's ridiculous. Okay, so that swing was 124 miles per hour. That is fast. That's like Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy, club head speed. Total distance, 315 yards. Oh, look, <laughs> oh, look. Well, that gives me a glimmer of hope. <laughs> Paul completely skied that, and it went um, 71 yards. <laughs> But this isn't a competition about averages, it's about longest. He's still got two more to go. Right, three, four, five to beat. Oh, it's a low bullet chaser. That is low and long. Oh my goodness. It's carried 310. Total distance. Cannot believe it. 349 yards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he beat me by, what, four yards with one golf ball left to go. That is ridiculous. Club head speed, 126 miles per hour. Outrageous. That is the knockout blow. Tall Paul, everyone. World's tallest golfer hits it a bloody mile. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> that shows me, doesn't it? <laughs>